Hello students, in this video, we'll construct the Legendre polynomials from the solution to the Legendre differential equation. Let's recall from a previous result that the Legendre differential equation that has polynomial solutions has this form, plus n and then n plus one y is equal to zero, has polynomial solutions Okay, and the idea was that we wrote y as an infinite series, right? We wrote y as the sum, k goes from zero to infinity of a k x to the power k, because zero is an ordinary point, and we derived a recursion relationship for these coefficients. That recursion relationship was the following. It implied that a k plus two was going to be k k plus one, and then minus n n plus one over k plus two k plus one, like that, okay? Let's do a little bit of algebra on top over here, a little bit of algebra on top. We're gonna have a k squared minus n squared, k squared minus n squared, and then a k minus n. So then a plus k minus n divided by k plus two, k plus one, like so. And then this, of course, is gonna be a k minus n and then a k plus n. So I'm gonna factor out negative signs. It's gonna be negative all over n minus k, n plus k, plus one, okay? We do that like that. All divided by k plus two, k plus one, like so. And let's just check, of course, this is really gonna be a k minus n, k minus n is k minus n quantity, squ quantity squared times one minus the k minus n, so that works out perfectly. Great. And then, all right, and so we're gonna use this formulation over here to write down the recursion for the polynomial itself, right? And so now, I'm going to set I can make any choice for this. Now, of course, I know that this will terminate when, and that's of course times a, uh, what, a times a k, right? Over that's my recursion relationship. And so of course, if I plug in k equals n, then I know that every term past degree at, past a k, past a n will be equal to zero, right? So in other words, we know that a k is equal to zero if k is bigger than or equal to n plus one in this case, n plus one, okay? And so now in particular, since there's an arbitrary constant that's involved, I'm gonna choose now a n in such a way that's gonna be two n factorial, two n factorial over two to the power n, n factorial quantity squared. Now this may seem like an odd choice of a n, but what's happened over here is we're gonna choose this, this number is chosen, I can keep this number a constant throughout the entire calculation, and I'm going to ensure that with this choice, p n of one is equal to one, right? So if you're, not, if you're not comfortable with me actually writing this out to generate the recursion quickly, you can just leave this as a number, of you can leave this as a number a, and then plug in the number at the very end and sum the series and figure out what that number has to be. There's a little bit of common torques involved. It's not that difficult, it's just sort of more convenient to write in this fashion. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write down the series going backwards and stepping. So what I'm gonna have is the following map, a k in terms of a k plus two. And so take this recursion over here and write it in the following way. And so write this as, a k is equal to k plus two, k plus one over, over what? Over this expression over here, the negative sign. And so this is of course times a k, and that's of course times a k as well. Times what? n minus k, and then n, n plus k plus one like that, times a k plus two, a k plus two. Okay, so in particular was this sum of a n minus two. So what's a n minus two gonna be? So a n minus two, that's of course corresponding to k equals n minus two, so let's do this very slowly. It's gonna be a n, because I plug in the a n minus two over there, and so I'm gonna have a two fa n factorial over two to the n, n factorial quantity squared, like that. And then times the next term over there, so now let's plug in these terms over here, there's a negative sign, so negative out in front. And then k was equal to what? k, in this case, was n minus two, so this is just gonna be an n over here, so I have an n. And then I have an n what? Then I have an n minus one. n minus one. All divided by what? All divided by a two over here, great. And then what we have over there, because that's going to be an n minus n minus two, that's going to be a two. And then over here I have an n minus two, so that's going to give us a what? So I have an n and then a plus n minus two. That's what k is equal to. And so that's going to be a two n minus two plus one, so two n minus one. Two n minus one, okay? Now it looks a little bit messy, but simplify. this simplifies a little bit. So let's do it carefully. So I'm going to have a negative sign out in front. That two n factorial, I'm going to write that as two n, two n, 
times 2n minus 1 times 2n minus 2 factorial. And then I'm going to have the n, fa n and n minus 1 on top still. On the bottom, what do we have? We have a 2 to the power n. And I'm going to write that n factorial. I'm going to, then I'm going to put the 2 next to that 2, the 2n minus 1 next to that thing. And then I have an n factorial. I'm going to write that as n times n minus 1 factorial. And then let's see if I need any other terms over here. So I think we'll be in good shape if we leave it like this. And then I have one more n factorial over here, which we might have to replace in a second. So let's just do it like that. So let's, let's first figure out what's going to cancel over here. So that's going to cancel over there. I'm missing an n factorial over here. So let's leave it as n factorial. And actually, I'm going to write that as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial, like that. OK? All right. And so now that's good, because what's going to happen over here? So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave this in the numerator over here, this 2 minus 2 factorial. Now, let's see, I have one n over here, and I have one n over here, so that n's going to cancel, with, and that n and that n are going to cancel this and this. That 2 is going to cancel over there. And then what else is happening over here? So what's left over here? And then I have an n minus 1 and an n minus 1, and that cancels over there. Excellent. So what we see, and I think everything else is, should be good over here. That looks correct. Good. And so now, this becomes a negative. What's left at the top is going to be a 2n minus 2 factorial, all divided by 2 to the power n. And then we'll have a what? And then all these things have canceled. I have an n minus 1, n minus 2 factorial. So n minus 1, n minus 2 factorial, right? That's what a n minus 2 is. Now let's find a n minus 4. a n minus 4 is going to be what? It's going to be this expression. So the negative negative is going to cancel out. So I have an a n 2 n minus 2, like that, over 2 to the power n. And then n minus 1 factorial, that's a factorial, of course, n minus 1 factorial, n minus 2 factorial. And then times whatever we get over here, we plug in n minus 4 for k, right? So over here, the negative sign's already been accounted for. And so I have a k plus 2, and the k plus 2 over here is going to be a n minus 2. So that's going to be an n minus 2 over there. And then I plug in that's going to be n minus 3, n minus 3. All divided by what? All divided by a 4 like that, times um, an n, so that'd be an n, 2n minus 3 factorial. 2n minus 3, like that. Good. OK. And now let's do the same sort of calculation over here. So what's going to happen is that I'm going to take off the first two terms over here. So this is going to be a 2 minus 2, a 2n minus 3, and then a 2n minus 4 factorial, an n minus 2 and n minus 3, and I need things to cancel out, so we have the right form, over 2 to the power n, 2 to the power n, and then a 4, like that. Good. And then a what? And then a, let's see over here. So then we're going to have a, there's the 2 then, there's the 4, there's the 2n minus 3. I'm going to do it n minus 1, n minus 2 factorial. And then I'm going to do an n minus, an n minus uh, 2, n minus 3, n minus 4 factorial. And now we can sort of see the by induction what's going to happen over here. So now what's going to cancel over here? So this 2, n minus 3 is going to cancel like that. This um, n minus 2, n minus 3 is going to cancel like that. This is going to stay around, OK? I'm going to factor out a 2 from this. So that's going to be a 2 n minus 1, 2 n minus 1. The n minus 1 will cancel with that n minus 1. And then that 2 will cancel that 4 and turn into a 2, right? So what are we going to have over here? We're going to have exactly equal to a n minus 4. a n minus 4 is equal to what? Is equal to this 2 n minus 4, 2 n minus 4 factorial, like that. All divided by what? Now there's a 2 in the denominator over here. So the 2 is going to be a what? So I'm going to have a 2 to the n. That sticks around. Now that 2 is going to write that as 2 factorial, right? So that's going to be a 2 factorial. 2 factorial. Because the next time I'm going to pull out a 3. And then the next thing is going to be a what? The next thing is going to be an n minus what? n minus 2, n minus 4. So I have an n minus 2 factorial, n minus 4 factorial, right? And so now by induction, what I can show is the following. So by induction, a n minus 2 m is going to be 2 n minus 2 m factorial 
over 2 to the n m factorial and then n minus m factorial and then n minus 2m factorial when that exists right so in other words when m has to be what has to be less than or equal to n over 2 right so the restriction is that m is less than or equal to n over 2 for this formula to work by induction and so now i can write down the what the and of course negative 1 to the m right so of course there's a negative 1 to the power of m over here right we said what m is and so now we can write down what our legendre polynomials right so our legendre polynomial pn of x is the sum m goes from 0 up to the floor of n over 2, right? Because I, this condition over here has to be valid. And then I'm going to have a what? We're going to have these numbers over here, 2n minus 2m factorial, negative 1 to the m, over 2 to the n, m factorial, n minus m factorial, n minus 2m factorial, and then x to the n minus 2 m over here. That's my 2m, n minus 2m coefficient. And there is a closed form for the Legendre polynomial of degree n using this induction. So every, every step in this way, so to, to complete the induction, all we have to do is we have this for the base case, and now I have to basically pull out an m, uh, a, a 2n minus 2m, and I'll have a 2n minus 2m plus 1, a 2n minus 2m plus 2. I'm going to have those two terms which will cancel. I have an extra factor of m that's going to come out from those things. It's going to go to the denominator from the m factorial, and that will complete the induction of this argument. So this gives us a closed form expression of the Legendre polynomial of degree n, and we're going to see in further videos how I can actually use this formula in conjunction with the Rodriguez formula to prove orthogonality of the Legendre polynomials on the interval negative 1 to 1, just with respect to the ordinary Lebesgue measure. Thank you very much.